Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, my team is going to be competing in the Spring Showdown um, at the end of April. So I've already showed you guys the video of the new uh, mat that uses the hydro hydrodynamic models. Um, so what I want to do is take you through the missions, especially for those of you that are going to be competing in the Spring Showdown. If you're not, I think it would just be cool to have you see what the old hydrodynamic models are going to be for the new missions. So this is kind of a video for my team to review the points. I mean, I, I put the points on the wall so they know what everything's worth. Uh, but for those of you that maybe want to see the missions, uh, have the points already shown to you, this is going to be for the Spring Showdown, uh, the robot game missions. So here we go. Okay, so the first mission you have to do is to start in that small base right there. Um, they did mention, the rules mentioned that the base is really small, so they said your robot just needs to um, touch the wall or be in base. Um, either that uh, back wall or the side wall. And you're basically following this uh, pink line. So it's going to be different uh, depending on what line you follow here. So let's go over each one. Um, you will get... 50 points if you follow this longer line so going following this pink line over the ramp and then finishing here in this the real base so 50 points for the longer line and it's going to be 25 points for following this shorter line so that is going to be your line following mission for and you have to do this one first um, the rules state that you may pick up your robot um, and not get a penalty when doing the line follow. Okay, the next mission is going to be the party punch mission. Uh, we have a big water here in the fountain, and all your robot has to do is push that uh, big water out. And that's going to be for 20 points. Okay, the next one's going to be the balloon drop mission. We have three big waters put on the rain model here. And your robot just needs to knock off one of the balloons to get the 25 points. Um, you get nothing if you knock over more than just one of the balloons. Okay, the next mission is going to be the uh, Play the Music mission here. Um, it's a pretty high scoring mission here. So we're using the um, the pipe edition and the filter here for this one here. And basically and for this uh, mission, they're calling this the jukebox and this is the amplifier. So what they want your robot to do is push this in. The arm must come down. And that's going to be worth, uh, let me look at it again. That's going to be worth 30 points for the arm coming down. And then what that does, it automatically pushes this. And they're looking for a connection here. They're looking for this to go somehow inside the amp. It doesn't have to be flush, they said. It can be just partially in. And that would be an extra 25. So this whole mission is worth 55 points. 30 points for the arm coming down and 25 points for this making some kind of connection inside the amp. Okay, this next mission is going to be the photo booth mission. And what we're using is the tripod, which you get to have in base. And what they're looking for is for you to put the tripod in the photo booth. They're considering that completely in for 20. And if it's partially in, that would be for 15. So, we're looking for this tripod to go completely inside the photo booth. Again, for the 2015 for just partial, like that. Okay, the next one's going to be the appetizers are on fire mission here. So, we're using the firehouse from Hydrodynamics. And on this one here, you just have to make this yellow lever make the fire go down. Um, and that's going to be worth 25 points. Okay, the next mission is going to be the to the rescue mission. And it's using the fire truck, um, which will start in base with you. There's two ways to score this one. If you can park the fire truck as so, they're going to be giving you 20 points for that. 40 points if you can park the truck like that. So that's a huge difference in the amount of points. So that's going to be 40, 
partial would be anything like that. That would be worth 20 or that would be worth 20. So they're giving you 40 for basically having it be parallel to this street here. Okay, this next mission is going to be the confetti mission. Um, it actually should be a dirty water in there, but eh, I couldn't find mine, so I just used two of the regular water. But for the confetti mission, all you have to do is press this down and have the confetti come out for 20 points. Okay, this next mission is going to be the decorations mission. You're going to be using the manhole covers from Hydrodynamics, and they want you to basically, because it's the 10-year anniversary of the Spring Showdown, they want you to put this manhole cover here to make this a 10. So that'll be 15 points, and they'll give you an extra 15 if you can place the other manhole cover right on top, which it would be a total of 30 points. The rules say that this top one can't touch the board, so they're saying it can't be like that. So it needs to be right on top and make that 10. So that, again, is the decoration missions. 15 points for the first one, an extra 15 for the second one for 30 points. The next mission is going to be the Stay Off the Garden mission. This uh, black square is going to be with you in base, and they basically want you to get it over the flower for 30 points. That actually doesn't even really fit over the entire fountain here, so or model there. So they basically want you to get this over the flower for 30 points. Okay, this next mission is going to be the Ice Cube mission. So we're using the uh, small rain from the hydrodynamics to put on these uh, spaces with the ice. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my bad. Seven and eight. So there's eight ice cubes. So they're giving you five points per ice cube if you bring it back to base, which would give you a total of 40. And then they'll give you a bonus 10 points if you can put any of the ice into the fountain. So this possibly could be worth 50 points uh, for the entire thing. So one more time, 5 points for every ice and base, which would give you 40. 10 point bonus if you can put any of the ice into the fountain, which would be an extra 10 for a grand total of 50 for the entire thing. One mission that's exactly like the hydrodynamics mission is the uh, party punch mission here where you're going to turn the knob and turn it from white to blue, like it is right here. Um, the rule states that it just has to be more than 90 degrees, so it can be a partial, um, but you'll still get the 25 points for this mission. Okay, there's going to be some of them. I'm just going to show you from my paper, because my models are not quite uh, built up to having it be ready yet, but let me just go through it. So. Um, this one here that I missed was the ring toss. You have those rings right there, and you're gonna place a ring, one ring, onto each of these um, beams right there. Actually, those are axles. Um, and you have to put them on one at a time. And so it's 10 points per ring, and you would get a bonus if you have one on each uh, axle, which would give you a total of 30. And the other one I missed, and let me, go down to here. Um, the one I missed also was, oops, I didn't go down far enough. Okay, it's this wishing well here. They want you to put that brown puck inside of the wishing well. Partial is 15, 30 points if it goes completely in the well. So I might, um, you know, I don't want to give away too many secrets, but show you some of these missions, actual, you know, robots doing these missions. Um, the next week or so. All right, guys. Hopefully you found that uh, informative if you are going to participate in the Spring Showdown. Maybe you thought that was kind of cool if, you know, you wanted to see the hydrodynamic missions in a different setting here. All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out.